I have several meter sticks here and one of the first things I want to emphasize is that these are not all identical. For one thing, they're made out of wood. Wood is not perfectly stable and it may vary a little bit in size depending upon the moisture content and other factors. So let me take these meter sticks here and, and we'll set them so that the bottom ends here are all at exactly the same place. So we would expect them all to be exactly the same length. Now let's look. Well, in fact, they're not all identical. There's a variation of maybe two or three millimeters in the length of these meter sticks. A part of that is because the ends may be worn off. So one of the first things to remember in using a meter stick is do not measure from the end since it will produce a zeroing error. So when we're utilizing a meter stick, we want to pick some point, say the 10 centimeter mark here, and take our measurements from that. And then we'll carefully record that we did that so that we can later subtract that 10 centimeters. Now another thing about using a meter stick is the fact that parallax error may occur. For example, if I want to measure the length of this line ruled across this piece of paper, if I lay the meter stick down like this, then the measuring marks are not in the same plane as the thing I want to meet to measure. So that the value I get depends on where I place my eye. And that's not good. Normally, this parallax error is random, but it can sometimes be systematic. So, the way to avoid this is to make sure that the marks are as nearly as you can place them to the thing being measured. So you always turn it up on edge like this. Let me measure this from say the 20 centimeter mark right here. And that places the other end at about 50.6. Another thing about measuring with analog devices is that you always mentally subdivide the smallest division into 10 parts and estimate to the nearest tenth. Now we won't always estimate the same tenth, but at least we do get one additional digit, which is generally significant. On this measurement right here, I would estimate that to be 50.62. So I'll record that as 50.62 minus 20 centimeters. Uh, when I was a feckless high school student with a new driver's license, my parents had a car that had a 10 mile per hour parallax error if you were sitting in the passenger seat. Uh, and it was always on the high side. So you can see that parallax errors can be extremely serious. Oops, we obviously have an outlier here. Somehow a yardstick crept in with our meter sticks, so let's get that out of there.